hope that you will all welcome uh, qualified national marketing director, Christy Lockhart to the stage. Wow, I never, ever, ever thought that a year and a half ago when I attended my very first conference that I would be standing on stage here in front of you a year and a half later. Like, what's going on with that? So I'm extremely, extremely humbled to be here in front of you sharing my story today. I consider myself such a student. Actually, only up until about an hour ago, I was sitting there in the front row jotting down notes from everybody's presentations because I consider each and every one of you to have something that you share with me that I can learn to grow my business and make my business better and help my team. I just want to take a very quick second to thank some very important people because without those people, I wouldn't be standing here on the stage sharing what I have to share with you today. So number one, first and foremost, my amazing husband, who's overseas working very hard for us right now. Um, my parents who are at home taking care of the four little girls under four, which I'm going to tell you more about in a sec. You're probably going, what? My incredible upline support. I am absolutely blessed to have come into an, uh, an upline like, like mine. And my amazing team, let me hear you guys. I'm so pumped because I hear Mr. Steven Ritz is in the house tonight. I can't even believe that. You know, it's funny because I can't remember if it was last conference or the conference before. You know, we come to these places and we're just nobody in our day-to-day -day lives. We're just going about our day-to-day -day lives and we're just doing what we do. And I'm sitting here in the front and I'm waiting uh, for the presentations to start and I see Tim Blank, the creator of Tower Garden, kind of poke his head around the side of the curtain and I charged him like he was John Lennon. I jumped on his back, literally. I'm like, check out what we're doing in Canada with Tower Gardens. And he took my phone and started flicking through my photos and I'm going, Oh my gosh, my husband works overseas. We got to keep the love alive. What's he going to see? I'm standing there shaking. It's Tim Blake. Anyway, so now you know how we keep the love alive with four babies under four. So welcome to my crazy life. Four little girls under the age of four. And I'm standing here in front of you today. I, uh, I worked on uh, cruise ships for the better part of 10 years, and when I came off of cruise ships to start a family with my husband, we couldn't start a family. And we were devastated, and we tried for years and years. And we were deemed with unexplained infertility. We had no idea why. And so we began this journey of trying to figure it out. We did in vitro, which gave us by the grace of God, baby number one, Atia, who you see there making the strange eyes like me in the middle. <laughs> so we had her, thank goodness, and a month after giving birth to her, we were pregnant naturally with baby girl number two. <laughs> a month after giving birth to her. So we're excited, right? Because we always wanted a big family and, you know, here, here we go, we're dollar cost averaging at this point, okay? And so about six months after giving birth to her, you know, you don't think it can happen another time, we're pregnant again, bam, naturally, baby number three. And so, wow, <laughs> what's happening here? So, you know, you honestly, honestly don't think it can happen another time. And a month after giving birth to baby number three, it happened another time. <laughs> so we were pregnant again. And we are thrilled. We have this crazy loud house. My husband was just gone away working overseas for three months. And uh, when he came home, he was home for a week before being called back to work. But in that week he was home, he'd forgotten how loud <laughs> four little girls can be. 
So when he got the call to go back to work, I'm sure he was like, yep, see ya. <laughs> I'm coming back to work where I can get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Anyways, it's all good. We, we're in love with our family. I have a big, big why, as you can see on the screen there. Um, I just wanted to say something else while the thought popped into my head. I was watching Facebook and a video with John Holowaty and James Knight popped up and they were like, yo, yo, we're fruit and vegetable gangsters, yo. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, boys, well, I'm a diaper changing ninja. So there's my brand, Diaper Changing Ninja. When I walked out today to go uh, have a, a little moment to myself, I saw all the mamas in the house with all their babies all lined up over to the right. That is so me, and I'm speaking to you today because let me tell you, if I have the time to do this business, you have the time to do this business, right? So my story starts in March of 2014. I got this call out of the blue. And you never know when you're going to get that call or give that call to that person waiting to hear the message that you have to share with them. But I got this call out of the blue, and uh, I have to switch slides here. That's one thing I have to remember in this presentation today. So um, it was my best friend's dad called me up out of the blue, and he said he'd been growing fruits and vegetables in his basement for the last six months. And I was like, shut the front door, because I was just researching hydroponics not even six months prior to that trying to find a better way to feed my family, new family, you know, suffer, I'm suffer, I had had infertility issues. I'm becoming a lot more aware of our food situation. And so I just pulled the plug, bought a tower garden immediately. Uh, it shipped, and um, when it arrived, I had it set up 20 minutes, plug and play out of the box, super easy. That's one thing you might want to write down, 20 minutes, plug and play right out of the box. and. Um, and it started, I, I, I had this bathroom upstairs in the house, and uh, nobody was using it at the time, so I started my little seedlings there on the bathroom counter, and up they popped out of the rock wall, and I lived on a cruise ship for 10 years. I didn't know how to grow diddly, okay? So when I had this instant success, doing what the instruction said to do, I was like, whoa, okay. So I, I then just started taking pictures, snapping pictures of everything, my whole journey of it. And this little bathroom that had this beautiful tower garden in it, it became my zen area. I never knew that the spare toilet in my house was going to be my place of worship. <laughs> I would go in there before the babies would wake up in the morning and I'd go and sit on the toilet and just stare at the thing. <laughs> well, with the lid down, right? <laughs> so I'd stare at this tower garden, the water's trickling and the lights are on and it's just so peaceful. And then I'd have to leave and go open two bedroom doors to cry babies. So anyways, you can see why I love this so much. But the point of this is, there was a very special person, which I'm going to get to in a second, who shared with me something. And this is, this is just a quick lesson in how simple this can be. When you're explaining a tower garden purchase to a customer or who is going to be a new distributor, a tower garden purchase with a few accessories equals 500 points or more. That's your direct distributor. So it was explained to me in that purchase, you know, if you get some tower tonic and you get the wheel or, or the, the cage and, and um, the extension kit, you're over 500 points. You're now a direct distributor and you're going to earn 6% back on all future purchases. So I didn't know, I only paid $50 for the membership right there at that moment, so I could get a discount on my own tower garden, and, and that was it, right? So I'm gonna go more into this in a, in a little bit. Um, I ended up buying three more tower gardens three weeks later, and you see our tower gardens on the screen there. And it was because of conference that I was able to grow those two tower gardens on the left of the screen there, because I came to conference and you would probably agree with me, the tower gardens you see there in the um, promotions hall are amazing, right? Round of applause for those. And I took pictures, and I went home and I mapped it out, what each plant was, where it was on the tower, and I went home and I just duplicated what I saw. 
So, you know, I find it fascinating that I'm standing here in front of you today and at the last speaker because all I have done to get here in front of you today is just take bits and pieces of what I've heard from every story, every breakout session, every training since I first started coming to conferences. What I'm saying is nothing original. Switch slides. So I said, I've been taking pictures of everything. We were having success. We were making beautiful tower gardens. I mean, this was how I justified the tower garden purchase in my mind. Okay, so vine ripened, local, living, nutrient dense food. Okay, farm quality fresh. We don't have to store the produce in our fridge. We don't have a carbon footprint to drive to the store to get it. We aren't um, having waste happen. We are picking it on demand, vine ripened living food as we need it. It can grow indoors or out. Clearly, that's a winner right there for all of us in our northern climates, right, who don't have access to fresh, vine ripened, living, organic, nutrient dense food 12 months of the year. It's a winner either way, wherever you are in, in North America. The food tastes better because it's vine ripened, right? It's fresh. You don't have little rodents crawling all over in the garden, right? It is vine ripened. It tastes better. It's delicious. It costs less. It is non-GMO food. We can take control. It's simple and it's fun. And I call it like, it's better than a pet because you don't have to take it for a walk. You don't have to water it. It just takes care of itself. And I also call it like a giant chia pet because the more you pick, is the more you get on a tower garden. So I was having so much fun with these towers. We rolled it, this tower that you're seeing on the screen there. Uh, it grew outside all summer, and then at the end of the summer, I just rolled it on inside, kept taking pictures, and people couldn't believe. I'm still growing indoors two months after season is growing season is over. And so Thanksgiving came, date night with my husband came. Lord knows we don't need any more date nights and wine you see in the picture there. That's contributed to a few of the babies, <laughs> a couple. <laughs> um, so this picture here with the salmon, you know, I, I started adding it up. As I was making that salmon that night, I was thinking, you know, I would, you know those little packets? I don't know where you live if you have the same thing what we have, but there's those little herb packets in the grocery and maybe yours are a few dollars, ours up at home are $4.99. I'm from British Columbia, Canada, so $5 for a little packet, a few sprigs of herbs. It would have been about 40 or $50 worth of herbs that I put on that salmon that night. And so I posted that in a Facebook post, right? So I was just sharing, it was a natural, organic experience. Sharing Tower Garden was absolutely a no-brainer. And because I'm a mom with four little girls, and I never leave the house, except to come to conference, Facebook online was my source. It was my way to touch the world. And so I did. And I started sharing posts, videos, anything I can get onto Facebook is what I would put onto Facebook. And I started growing a very, um, people are watching. Whether you think people are watching or are not watching, just because somebody is not like it, like may maybe they don't hit the like button on your post, but they've seen your post. Okay, so they're watching. So those little seeds that I was planting at the beginning came to fruition. I loved that um, analogy of the popcorn earlier, right? You put it all out there, and then they're going to, the kernels will stop, start popping, you know, as your journey continues. So between the tower gardens that I had personally I hate the word sold, but shared with other people. <laughs> and the ones who signed up uh, and became a DD through their own tower garden purchase, 17 tower gardens went through my business in literally two months time. It was crazy. And it was only because I shared pure, authentic excitement. That was it, I was just genuinely excited. So the posts that I was posting on Facebook didn't come across as selling at all. People saw the journey, they saw the excitement, and they were like, I want one, where did you get that? It was super, super contagious. So the distributor, the distributor package arrived, and we started adding Juice Plus to our daily lives. Um, I thought if a company could have something so great as this amazing growing machine, 
and, and they've been around for 20 something years with just a few other products. It has got to be, you know, Juice Plus has got to be good. I totally came in through the Tower Garden door. And so I thought that was pretty cool and we started supplementing uh, with Juice Plus. And I became the best customer to my upline was probably like, yes, we won the jackpot here because I ordered everything and lots of it, okay? My husband works overseas and so I sent him off with a whole ton of bars and shakes and you know, he's on a ship away at sea for six months of the year, month on, month off. And you can imagine they don't have access to great vine ripe and nutritious food. So I gave it to him and we started feeling great. I had two back-to-back -back pregnancies, you have to remember. Two baby girls under the age of two was pregnant with the third, and everybody was commenting on my energy. I was literally zipping around the place, doing all kinds of stuff, and everybody was like, what is up with this chick? Uh, my husband came back 35 pounds lighter, and he isn't a guy who needed to lose weight in the first place, but he used it as a catalyst. He started, he put it to work in his body. He started, you know, working out again, and, and so we were having, amazing results, but I still had trouble sharing Juice Plus. Is this anybody in the house for Tower Garden maybe? Okay, I get you, I get it, because I totally came in through the Tower, tower Garden door, and I was almost, I'm embarrassed to say this today, but I was like, talk to the hand about Juice Plus. I actually apologized to my upline profusely for being like that. You know, but what, what's the reason for that, you know? What was my problem? Why can't I share Juice Plus? I loved the Tower Garden. I loved the concept of Juice Plus. I was super intrigued about the company, the community, right? The, the, the amazing people we're sitting amongst today. Give yourselves a big round of applause because there are some amazing people in the house. I knew that if I attended all of the local events, though, and everything that was going on, that I would gain knowledge. So that's what I did. I needed to change my mindset uh, and figure out how to share Juice Plus if I wanted to move through the compensation plan. So think of, you know, think of yourself here. You know, is this where you need to be with Tower Garden in order to move quicker through the compensation plan? So after a local event one night, Mark Hare shared this pie chart with me and uh, it is always stuck in my mind. So I wanted to make sure I pass this on to you today. So this is called the four areas of belief and think about where you are at here. So the product, compensation plan, company, and yourself. So the product, it's easy to get 100% belief in the product because you know, our research is there. Uh, we have the testimonials, we have experiences to draw from. The company uh, is easy to get 100% belief in. You attend events, you plug into the information, become a sponge. The compensation plan, well I was paid so I totally got that there was a working compensation plan here. Um, but the self is the one that is the hardest thing for most people. Um, and if you're 100% in the others, the product company and compensation plan, um, sorry, I'm gonna back up a second. If you're 100% in yourself, but not in the other three areas, that's when it comes across as the dreaded selling and nobody wants to sell anything, right? So I figured out I was lacking in the product and self category. I didn't have 100% belief at that point, although I was in the middle of my journey, I didn't have 100% belief at that point in why the Juice Plus product was better than anything else available on the market. And um, I didn't know if I could share it in the same way that I shared the Tower Garden with the same authenticity that I shared the Tower Garden with. So over that summer, I started my journey of building 100% belief in those two areas and I submersed myself in everything. I became a complete sponge. Diane Lees, Mama Di, <laughs> without you, my dear, this woman is incredible and she showed me what leadership is about and I want to burst out into tears right now because this woman, you know, I can only work at 11 o'clock at night. I can only work at 4 in the morning. I can work while I'm in the toilet. I talk a lot about a toilet today, don't I? You know, I work in these small, small snippets of time and every single time, I'm so blessed to have her because every single time I picked up the phone 
She was there for me, answering all my questions, helping me build that, that belief, sharing videos with me. By the way, there's a John Blair Vimeo video that you probably want to check out on Vimeo. That, that's the, she shared that video, and that was the video that kind of tipped the scale for me. One of many things, but you, you might want to check that video out. Anyways, thank you so much, Mama Di. I just wanted to put that out there today. <laughs> I hope you all have incredible upline leadership. I'm, I'm blessed, as I've said. So I attended everything, as I said. Um, you know, you guys get it. You're here today. And, and somebody else said that earlier in one of the sessions this morning. You're here. You understand that. But I attended the September event um, in labor. Our, our local regional event I went to in labor. I was not going to miss that. I met Jay Martin in the first five minutes I walked into the room. And I saw the big picture of what this company has to offer us, um, the following it, it's created. I looked around the room and I thought, all these people can't be crazy. You know, the thought was really going through my mind. I met Michelle Ball and Sandy Bayou, and they were a major inspiration to me, 100 clubbers in like a couple years. I heard all about the, the, the benefits package at NMD. I was totally in, totally in. So during this process of attending everything, plugging into everything, um, I finally figured it out. I was just overcomplicating it. Juice Plus, get this guys, get this. Juice Plus bridges the gap between what we should eat on a daily basis and what we actually get around to. I'm going to drop the mic and walk off. <laughs> that's, the, that's the lesson here, right? We, we overcomplicate everything. I, I, I overcomplicate everything. And that's one of the biggest things to teach my team now is don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Don't ever prejudge. The person that's sitting, there's lots of people. You know, you make your list of 100 names, you go through that, and then you, you write down um, so-and-so, and then you put beside them Juice Plus or Tower Garden. It's kind of useless to do that because the person you think would be interested in a tower garden is interested in Juice Plus and vice versa. So we can never prejudge that. And the last point on this screen is, you know, when I, when I get a tower garden customer, um, somebody who comes through the tower garden door and purchases a tower garden, I think of it as I have 12 months to immerse them in our culture and to help them become a Juice Plus customer. So that's the way I kind of convert and have learned to grow my business. So now that I've got this all figured out, it's time to have a baby. <laughs> Daddy's away at sea. Is he going to be home on time? Oh my gosh. We had a healthy baby and I kind of took a couple months off. And that's what's so fantastic about this business is you can actually put it on the shelf for however long you need to, as long as you pay your $50 and you can you never fall backwards. It's amazing. In fact, my paycheck was um, higher the month after giving birth as it was going in to, to have that baby. So the business was growing while I wasn't growing anymore. So now it's really start time, you know, it's time to start building a team. Had the third baby and, uh, you know, coast is clear for me and, um, I loved the energy. I wanted more of what I saw at the regional event. So in November, I asked my upline to come on over and let's have an event at my home. So I asked Mama Di, Deb, sweetos. <laughs> I asked Mark and Yvonne, which are 100 clubbers, to come on over to my place. And I invited five girls. And I have to read this from my notes here. but. The, of the girls I invited, two saw the tower garden in my house. They were just, they came to my house, saw the tower garden. It was such a talking point. And they had kind of said something to me in my, you know, visit with them, probably over wine, that um, they could use a business opportunity. So I knew that those were two girls I wanted to invite. Two were longtime friends of mine, girls who I wished would be on my dream team. And one was a woman I randomly met, who's sitting right here in the front row. 
And I really, really liked her, and I'd, I, I wished to be able to work with her. Anyways, we had a martini party. The martinis worked because they're all SCs on my team today. Every one of them said yes. The moral of that story is serve alcohol at your events. So I had a vision of what I wanted. I wanted to build a team of amazing, strong women in their own rights who are powerful individually, but who would be even more powerful as a whole when we got together. Because I could see the way my life was going with how busy I was, how many kids. I had to like kill a lot of birds at the same time, so to speak. Um, I knew that team events were going to be something that I had to embrace, where the whole team could come together as a whole. And I can't have any drama in my life. <laughs> so they all had to be really cool chicks. And so um, with the team in place, we started building. And we started doing events and events and more events. And uh, I started getting to work on fast tracking each one of these girls to VF. And uh, so five girls building at the same time, events at my house, totally not possible. And um, so I committed to doing a public event every few weeks, one where all the girls could bring their prospects to, and uh, it was all under one roof. And those people loved the energy of it because they loved the community they could see we were creating. So we, again, drank a lot of wine. And, um, all those girls fast-tracked to VF, which made me SSC and fast-tracked me within my first year. I was invited to Juice Plus Canada's uh, Leadership Advancement Weekend, which was an all-expenses-paid five-star weekend. It was incredible. Uh, oh. Went to a conference in Sacramento. It was there at those two events where my uh, belief was really, really solidified of what, what the company was all about. But by now I'm pregnant again. <laughs> my team's probably going. So, oh, where am I with my slides? I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna go forward. Nope, I'm going to go back. Nobody else had note cards this morning, and I was like, I have 25 note cards. <laughs> Duplicatable. And I'm going to take all the time I need. So now I'm working towards NMD, and I'm building this. I sp I've now spent the last 12 months building towards NMD. Actually, I was hoping to nail NMD to the wall for this conference, but it's OK. <laughs> Anaheim's coming up. So we want to spend our precious time with the team who is interested in building their business. Now, there's a place for everybody in this business. It doesn't matter if you have a family planner that's just interested in, in um, you know, doing it for the discount, or if you have somebody who wants to make three or $500 a month, or somebody who wants to make two or $5,000 a month. There's a place for everybody. Love everybody where they're at. But play chess, you know? They make a move, you make a move. We all have limited time. That is one thing that we all have in common. None of us have time to waste. So play ball with the people who want to play it with you, okay? Develop each one of these team members into leaders and NMDs in their own rights. For me, this is the most exciting part of the whole thing, is seeing each and every single one of those girls get up on stage or, you know, have that self-development. Build a wide front line. Never stop sponsoring, okay? Right, today I have eight frontline SCs all working together and building at the same time. Reach downline in your team. Create relationships with the people downline that maybe you didn't, you know, invite into the business that you hadn't met yet. So how would eight frontline SCs, who all but one came through the Tower Garden door, impact your Juice Plus business? All of the girls on my team came in through the Tower Garden door, but they all caught the vision, the Juice Plus vision, 
quickly. They all now share Juice Plus and Tower Garden the same, and they attract new team members. We attract new team members as a whole when we do events together. Sharing both Tower Garden and Juice Plus, not just one, allow them to grow a lot faster than if they were just sharing one. So my advice is, get a Tower Garden. Grow a Tower Garden. You're gonna open yourself up to a whole new group of people uh, a whole new market of potential customers and team members. Grow, if, if, you, if it's your first time getting a tower garden, grow easy plants, okay, greens and herbs. Get to know your tower garden. Go see and touch your tower garden every day. Take a ton of photos sprouting those little seedlings. Take pictures. Share pictures with people. If you're not on social media, send it in an email. Social media is going to help us grow our, our businesses that much faster, but you can still grow the traditional way if you're a traditional type uh, person. Invite friends over for wine or garden parties. I love wine. <laughs> Tonight, I'm really going to love wine. <laughs> Watch out, team. Here I come. Mama's on vacation. <laughs> Never, ever, ever show an ugly tower garden. Never. We have but two seconds to, to make a first impression with people. And if they come to your house and you got plants that are laying there like this, oh my gosh, I have to share this story. I went to Vancouver once. Okay, I'm from Kelowna, which is the interior of BC. And we went to, so I was a new distributor. And I was growing my business, so I was doing, like, I still am doing everything, but I was really, really doing everything. So I had a new distributor on the coast in Vancouver, and I said, yeah, I'll come down and we'll do a presentation. We'll get a whole bunch of people in the room. Show up. Oh, and I, I had found somebody who had a tower garden, who was growing a tower garden on the coast, and I said, I'm going to come down to do this presentation. Can you have this tower garden at the presentation so that we can, you know, show it? And I show up there. And there's like three guests in the room, two of which came with me. And the tower garden had, it was the, the, you know, the normal size model, but it had plants in it that were this big and they weren't standing straight up and down. They were like this over the side of the tower garden, all hanging down. And I could not believe it. And I didn't want to insult this guy, so I just did the presentation with the tower. But anyways, it's just never, never, never show an ugly tower garden. If you got to take plants out of the out of your tower, put new seedlings in, or just keep the keep the you know blank, do that. The other piece of advice I have for tower garden growing specifically, and this is my little tip or trick, and this has made a huge difference to to some of my team as well, is think of plants on your tower garden as you know, a lot of people have this urge when they get a tower garden growing that they want to, they see this little beautiful little you know, leaf sprout up and it's this little lettuce seedling and they say, oh, this baby lettuce, I wanna eat it. So you start plucking off baby lettuce leaves and you're eating away at this baby tower garden. Your tower garden is never gonna, it doesn't have a hope in heck to grow into this big, gorgeous garden. If you want a big, gorgeous garden like the one I showed at the beginning, think of each leaf as like a solar panel. The bigger you let that leaf grow, it starts, it takes in the sunlight, it starts growing exponentially, and before you know it, you've covered up all the white on that tower garden. It looks like this beautiful, lush jungle, and when you're picking leaves from it, you'll never be able to see where you've just harvested from because you're gonna harvest all the way around. It'll always stay looking big and gorgeous. And remember, it will grow exponentially. So that's a big takeaway for today. I hope that you, uh, that, well, if you didn't know that, you know that now. <laughs> so get creative with your events as well. You know, the girls earlier did an amazing job sharing the creativity, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. Buy an extra tower garden. This was a huge one. I did this in the beginning. You know, we bought one tower garden. We bought three more three weeks later. It was uh, a no-brainer. The payment plan was a total no-brainer. And so uh, it allowed us to buy four. So I used one, grew with one, set up the other two to grow with, and I used the other one, um, and I put it in the public eye. 
you know, we put it in a place called uh, 30 Minute Hit in Canada, uh, in our town, and uh, it's a women's kickboxing studio, so we'd put it in there on the floor. We got so many customers from that, and eventually they became, you know, uh, they, they bought Tower Garden, became a distributor, and, you know, it was just a loner. We just put it on the floor for them to, for their guests and, and ladies coming in to check out. You will get Tower Garden sales if you do that. Okay, but if you don't, don't come knocking on my door. <laughs> this is one thing I touched on on the beginning when I first came out. You know, this is, this is part of the reason why I grew so, so quickly is because, um, you know, when you're st sitting talking with a person who comes in through the Tower Garden door, you can say, okay, you know, for $50, $50 gets you a membership. And what's going to happen is when you put your tower garden in your home or wherever it is, people are going to come over. It's an amazing talking point. They're going to ask you where you got that. And you can either say, send them to me, which is perfectly great, makes me happy, awesome, wonderful, or you can give them your website. So for $50, uh, you get a membership, and you're going to get 59 or 55 in the US, 59 in Canada, back on the purchase of your tower garden. So you pay 50, you're actually five or nine dollars up. Right? So keep it simple. Plus, you've just become a DD, direct distributor, which also entitles you to an additional 6% on all future purchases. You know what I, people say to me? Well, why not? Use that, leaving here today, you're going to have distributors coming out of your... I treat Juice Plus and Tower Garden differently. So with Juice Plus, uh, I, you don't need to feel the results before you decide to share. Science proves what we claim. We have the, the studies, right? First class studies, we have them. We don't need to feel prevention. We can't expect to feel someone else's results. So we don't have the right to hold back uh, to others before we share. Everybody needs Juice Plus. With Tower Garden, you need to grow a Tower Garden. You need to build your own experience. You need to share that experience. Get familiar with the tools. We have great tools, Tower Talk and videos. One of the things I do with um, the video links is in my cell phone, in my notes, I have a note page that is Juice Plus videos and links. And that's all the hot links to all of our videos. So when I get a new Tower Garden customer, I find customer care for Tower Garden so easy. Because all I do, you know, when I get a Tower Garden customer is I copy that link and I send it to them in a text or an email or whatever is the easiest for them of how to assemble the Tower Garden in two minutes, how to start your seedlings, two minutes, how to, you know, put in the nutrients in a two minute video. It's all done for us. So that is something that's really, really helped us. So in closing, this is a never-ending journey of personal development, a never-ending journey. When I was 20 years old, I became a scuba diving instructor. I went to the Caribbean, and I couldn't even do a dive briefing for 10 people on the back of the boat. And here I am standing in front of a room of I don't know how many eyeballs, totally terrified, like I was terrified for six weeks <laughs> building up to this today. But um, it's a journey in personal development, this whole thing. So, you know, my success has only come from plugging into to what's been available to us, learning everything, being a sponge, taking it all in, meeting the people who are around, um, you know, plugging into your team, investing in my team, taking the business serious. So what's your why? Why are you doing this? Why are you sharing Tower Garden with other, others? Why are you doing Juice Plus? Who are you attracting to your business? What kind of team do you want to build? The moral of this story, if I can do this, you can definitely do this. I work in small snippets of time. I hit QNMD 18 months after signing that form, had two babies in that time, with two toddlers at home. Time is precious, so I take it seriously. 
I show up, as I said, I plug into events. Repetition of those events, it doesn't matter if you have been to the same event 200 times and heard the same message 200 times. Because the repetition makes you able to share with others easier and more clearly. It then gets into your mind. It helps build the belief in those four areas. I become extremely coachable. I, I go to my upline with questions. I'm, I thought, you know, at first I thought I was this like nagging new person, you know, calling my upline all the time to tell me this and tell me that. And little did I know that that's exactly what you want, right? Wouldn't we all want all of our team calling us all the time? Well, maybe not all of us. <laughs> want that. I want that. So be authentic, attract others. For goodness sakes, don't sell, just share. And perhaps the most important thing is just to have fun. Mark Hare says, people don't want to be your experiment. So if you're not taking it seriously, it's a good time to start, right? And the thing that has stood out in my mind since I can carry Daigle's quoted a lot today, um, no one likes to sell. Sales is just the transfer of enthusiasm from one person to the next. That's all it is. And if you do that, and you're authentic, and enthusiastic, and passionate, and having fun, it'll never, ever, ever come across as selling. Thanks, everybody.